left all my targets in the car. Dang it! How you guys doing? Joe here, and today we are out at the range to do a couple of tests. Number one is I'm going to put some more rounds through my para ordnance 1911, chambered in 45 ACP. And we are going to be comparing it to the Ruger SR 1911, chambered in 45 ACP. The main reason is I don't need multiple stainless 1911s. Okay, I need all the 1911s, but I don't need them. And what I want to do today is figure out which of the two pistols I like more because there happens to be a third stainless 1911 that I'm looking at. But the only way I can afford to get the other one is if I sell one of the first two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and get a bunch of targets out of my car, bring them out, put them up on the board. We'll do some shooting and uh, we'll see which one is better. So for both guns, I'm going to start with PMC bronze 230 grain full metal jacket. This is a brass case with a uh, copper uh, jacketed bullet. Sorry, that took me a second to think of the word. So the ammo is the same between both guns, so that's a non-factor. And because I only have one camera today, I'm out of good uh, cards for my other camera. I'm going to be using the phone for recording on the targets. I'll be shooting the targets on your left with the Para and on your right with the Ruger. Here we go. My bad, that was me. So not bad, a little to the left, but that happens. Now the Ruger, SR 1911. Hang on, safety on. Apparently the pins weren't pushed in far enough. All right, resume firing. Well, I think it's pretty clear this one's dead on. I'm going to put another mag through the para ordnance because I think it's just I haven't fired it in a while. Hopefully. Back to the para. And back to the Ruger. I'm gonna move over to the left on the Ruger target because it's pretty shot out. So over by the uh, eight, in between the eight and the nine. I'm gonna put this 10 rounder into the guy's head.
we are clear. It's pretty accurate. I do, I do appreciate the accuracy so far. So the last thing I'm gonna do today and finish up the 100 rounds in the Ruger is to do what is basically the three, two, one, one, two, three, where you go left to right or right to left, doesn't matter which way you start, and then you just keep plugging them to see how accurately you can move from one to the next. They are a little close together, but I don't care. I think we're seeing that my ability to shoot straight ahead of myself is not very good for some reason. And then the last thing I want to do today before I leave is actually put some of my carry ammo through my gun. It's something that if you carry a different type of ammo than you normally target shoot, you need to practice with, you need to spend the money. So I have two different flavors here. This is a double tap, 1300 feet per second, uh, hollow point, obviously. And this is Sig Sauer's Elite Performance hollow point. And I just wanna see how the gun handles them and how they shoot, so. I'm gonna start with the Sig Sauer Elite Performance stuff because I carry that more often than the double tap. You feel the hit definitely, especially in the front strap, which is weird, but it's nothing terrible, nothing bad. But now the double tap stuff, because that's going to be a harder hitting round. The Sig Sauer doesn't claim to be faster at all, but this stuff does. And you'll be able to tell when you see it in the video. Definitely. Ugh. Wow. You heard the audible difference, so wow. Double tap stuff ain't no joke. So yeah, that was significantly louder. That was uh, massively louder. Although the kick didn't feel much worse. Oh well. Now that I've shot both pistols and put 100 rounds through the Ruger, the question is, which one do I prefer? If I have to be 100% honest, the Ruger shoots better or more accurately than the para ordnance, but not by enough that it would make me really want to switch. The white dot on the front of that Ruger is much bigger than the fiber optic that's on the para ordnance, and I have terrible eyes anyway, so I think that was the main difference. So maybe I need to get a bigger fiber optic, like a True Glow or a Mariglow, on the para, and that's something I can consider. In terms of the trigger, I still prefer the para ordnance. The Ruger's is nice, but the para ordnance is a lot nicer. In terms of cost, I have less into the para than I do the Ruger, and the Ruger will sell for more than the para ordnance. So, kind of thinking that I'm just gonna get rid of the Ruger so that I can get other stuff for the channel. The Ruger is imminently replaceable. They still make them. They do not make the para ordnance anymore. So, I guess my conclusion is I'm keeping the para ordnance. So let me know down in the comments what you would do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe, use my Amazon affiliate link, and maybe consider donating at Patreon. And shut up, Cicada. And I am working on a few other firearms for the channel. Again, it requires me to sell the ones I don't need because being fixed income, I can't afford to just run out and buy every gun that I want as much as I want to. So don't forget, I do new gun videos Mondays and Fridays, and I try to intersperse something in the middle of the week. It doesn't always happen, but that's just a bonus if it does. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can just watch the community posts on the page here and keep yourself informed on what's coming. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Now that it's nice and dirty, let's go for a mag dump. Let's do it again.
And one more time. 